Two teams on the rise with Memphis taking on Charlotte. The Grizzlies have won eight of their last ten, but tonight they're playing without Mike Conley, who's out with a sore back. So Marcus Williams gets the start. Second quarter action, O.J. Mayo. Slick move there. He had 16 points in the first half. Memphis up by eight, time running out in the half. Zach Randolph missing the three. Marcus Williams with the tip. And Rudy Gay tips it in. Amazing play to end the half. Marcus Williams gets the start in place of Mike Conley and helping out immediately. Rudy Gay had 15 points and 10 boards on the night. Third quarter action. That's Gay again off the dish for Marcus Williams, who had eight dimes on the night. Memphis in front by 10. Raymond Felton nails the baseline jumper. He was 7 of 12 from the field. The Bobcats getting their defense on as Raymond Felton blocks Jamal Tinsley. Your point guard's got two blocks on the night. Then Boris Diaw, little jump hook inside, 7 points and 10 boards for Diaw. Fourth quarter now, Steven Jackson driving and passing to Gerald Wallace for the layup and one. Wallace had 18 points and eight boards. It's a two-point game. Then Zach Randolph missing. Zach Randolph making 17 points, 12 boards. He is a human double-double. Later in the fourth, off the good move, Steven Jackson gets the layup and one. And Charlotte has taken the lead. 15 points, eight boards for Jackson. Then outside, off the bench, instant offense. Flip Murray, 14 on the night, Charlotte in front, 83-78, but Memphis has cut the lead to one and now taking the lead. Mark Gasol right down the heart of the defense, Memphis up by one. Charlotte went back up by one, then by three when Raymond Felton hit the floater. He led the Bobcats with 19, but later turned it over to O.J. Mayo, who takes it the length of the court. Rejected, though, by Gerald Wallace. Amazing hustle on this play. Charlotte in front by three with less than 15 seconds to go. Mayo, cold-blooded, though, pulling up in Gerald Wallace's face, drilling the three and tying the game in Charlotte's house. Charlotte coming right back, though. Time running out. Raymond Felton to the rack. He misses, but look who's there. It's Gerald Wallace with the game winner. Check it out one more time just before the buzzer goes off. And Charlotte hangs on to win this one by two points over Memphis, 89-87. to 87.